Welcome back to the channel. We're not going to be working on the engine today. We haven't got the rings yet. So in the last video we were working on the head. We got that all built up. And we're just waiting for the piston rings to come in. And once the piston rings are in, we can go ahead and get the engine all back together. So I'm going to be working on something else. Uh, some stuff on the inside of the car. We got a new tablet to put into the Civic and it's just a universal one with a custom double din display. So we're going to be installing that today and I've also got some new speakers. We got some good speakers already in the front but they're not plugged in or working at the minute and then we've got the re these new rear ones which were the old ones that were busted so we got them. Uh, so we're going to be wiring them in today. This universal uh, nine inch tablet perfect, perfectly sits in the surround here. Currently we ha I just have a tablet on a stand. This stand keeps breaking. So I decided I'll just swap it out for an actual tablet and it will be nice and flush so if I take this off we'll see it's probably already damaged we're just having on this here going into the CD player and I'm pretty sure it's already broken yeah so we got a piece there that's stuck so the plan is remove this here old dash and we're also going to have to remove this the climate controls and move them down here if possible so I'm just gonna go ahead and start unbolting all the dash and hopefully pull and pull out the climate control and everything so we can get the uh, tablet all bolted in got the old dash or center dash piece out um, as you can see the difference so we got the original it has the clock uh, the radio singled in and then the heating controls as well which we have taken out here and here is the new one so we're only going to have the two fans up here and two switches and then we've got the double din for the tablet so with that we're going to have to find a new place for the heating controls so I'm hoping we can somehow get this heating control to sit in here uh, in this lower piece of the dash so we can just have the tablet up here and then the heating controls just down here uh, out of the way what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this out and then try and uh, mock it up so we can get it to fit
able to get the heating controls all mounted up to the bottom so uh, what I did is I took out the I guess the holder so I got two screws up at the top uh, they just lined up with the metal bracket that was already on it and I also then chopped the old outer piece which goes onto this holder it had some plastic uh, supports so we've got the supports here we just need to bolt in the other screws and then this here then connects to the metal bracket here it looks fine but this part here is a bit little bit ugly but it was ugly before it's just a little bit more noticeable looks like something was burning there uh, before i got it but that's fine because it's going to be low down and you're probably only going to see it from here i'm just going to go and test fit it and see if it fits Here we got it all uh, bolted up and it seems to fit in there nicely the only problem is we have these little gaps and then whoever had this before had burnt this so it looks a bit messy but other than that it sits perfectly it's nice and sturdy doesn't move wobble uh, it looks like it's meant to be there so at some point I'll probably just uh, make something so it uh, fills in these gaps but for now it looks good and it won't be that, no that no noticeable anyway down there. So now that's all complete. I'm just going to go and move on to the tablet and get the it all mounted up. So we've taken everything off that we needed on this. So we don't need that clock because there's no spot for it. Uh, and now we just have to mount in these vents and the tablet. And then we can uh, go ahead and bolt this back up. started it up I just replaced the the uh, where is it ISO harness I think it's called and yeah it's running so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wire up the harness and wire everything up completely again and then bolt it all in and then we can get to uh, how it looks once uh, the tablet is completely fitted and all the dash is back together <laughs> got everything installed we got it down here I did make a few changes well this isn't fully in just yet uh, I need to screw it down it's not in yet 
but we made a few changes so we ended up just putting the stereo down here uh, we just kept the stereos just so we can have the uh, aux auxiliary and a USB charger here as well and we also changed the uh, cigarette lighter to, to a dual USB uh, so we can plug anything in there and then we've got the tablet all done I'm pretty sure I brought the left hand drive uh, version of this so it doesn't fit completely so it looks like it's moved over slightly that way so I guess the dash isn't identical on each side so we have a little uh, this comes out a bit further than uh, it should but that's not that big of a deal because these dash pieces are cheap they're only like 25 pounds so I could just go ahead and buy the correct version and just quick and change it and it will fit perfectly but other than that it looks really good it sits in there nice and smooth we got all the vents working and we also got the heating controls working too so the tablet it's just the usual just Chinese stuff and uh, usually quick enough to run and all I really want for this anyway is for the Spotify to play music and also this Real Dash app, which I connect up my OBD2 reader to. Haven't got it set up set up just yet, but what it is, it just shows all your stats. It displays all our stats of the engine. So we got the RPM, miles an hour, and then we also got some extra, all these extra ones. So it actually tells you how the coolant temp and all the other stuff air fuel ratio rpm all the intake air temps and all that but that's all i really want the tablet for uh so it doesn't need to be that powerful i'm not going to be putting loads of stuff on it so it's just for uh, quick music uh while i'm driving and then the the stats also we got google maps as well they're the most uh ones i'll be using on this so i'll put all this stuff in the description the tablet and the the doubled in dash be careful if you do buy one just make sure you do get the correct version uh, or, else, or else you will have it slightly off to the side if you get the wrong one but it's not that big a deal because I can just uh, buy the correct one and get it fitted but now what I want to do is get in the new speakers and also fix the speaker in this door because we only have actually one speaker working at the minute I'm pretty sure the wire is just corroded because of all the rain getting in through the, the sill and then once that's done we can put in the new uh, ones in the rear and then we'll be all good and we will have some good sound coming through the car and I won't be just having to listen through the one speaker. So we got the speakers all completely bolted up uh, not really much you can show about that I can't really tell with the sound and I can't really play any music because it'll be all copyright <laughs> the front one is now fixed and now we have complete uh, speakers uh, all the speakers working we've got two in the back and two in the front and we also got the tablet all bolted in now it's just a bit unfortunate that the 
it's the wrong one. It's for the left hand drive, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, not can't really test the sound because of copyright and whatnot, but uh, the speakers do sound good, so if you want to get a set that will fit in the rear, 6x9, they're woofers and uh, got two tweeters or something on it. So I'll have them in the description. I'll also have the tablet and the dash in the description. Uh, you'll just have to make sure you get the right one, left hand drive or right hand drive one because they are different. At least we got to do a bit of something while we're waiting for all the piston rings, the piston rings to come in to finish the engine. That's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you do want to get that, I'll have it in the description. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.